Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. I made it back out here to Idaho to hopefully fill my deer tag. Season ends on the first. I have <coughs> till Thanksgiving to fill my tag. So, so we will see. Yeah, this is a solo trip. I am out here by myself. Uh, I came back out to where me and my brother spotted that big bug that we attempted at and didn't connect. So I'm just gonna sit here, just glass this whole hillside and just be patient and see if something steps out. I mean I have until Thursday afternoonish. From what we've seen, they only like to come out during the morning, right through here, so it's about 11.30, almost noon right now, so I'm just going to do the evening hunt for tonight, and then come back out early, early tomorrow morning to sit back up here, but as you can see, we got a layer of snow, like maybe a quarter inch of snow, so that should make it easier for me to spot them, and Hopefully it gets cold enough to where they would chase or start moving. But we did talk to a few local hunters last week and uh, they said that the rut's been a lot slower than normal. So and they've seen a lot of deer or they had friends that have seen deer but they just don't, they're not really chasing. So I'm hoping that this is the week and I'm just hoping that we connect with something so stay tuned stay with me and uh wish me luck and uh let's try to kill a big one all right guys have my first buck spotted. I glassed up two does closer to me and then glassed back across the other side and uh, I think the rut is finally starting. He's definitely chasing. He doesn't look too big. Definitely a three or four pointer. Well in our terms three by three or four by four. I'm assuming he's a four by four but they are far ways away from me. I have 30 minutes till uh, the sun sets and I'm really debating about dropping down and hiking up and see if I can catch him. Try to get it done tonight since there's a windstorm coming tomorrow but I don't know I just don't know if I'm gonna get there in time but I don't know this is freaking cold as shit. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna try to drop down as fast as I can, get over there, bomb over there, and see if I can make it happen, because I know they're gonna be over there, especially with that doe over there, so. <sighs> Wish me luck, let's go, let's go make it happen, it's freezing. It is like freaking 30 degrees right now, but with this wind, I'm shaking so bad. But they're still feeding, so. Let's freaking go.
Well, as you can see, no deer. Uh, I bombed down that hillside and uh, actually cut the distance down to like 300 yards. But when I got there, they were already MIA. So I just sat there for a little bit and just made my way back to the truck. But that's just how it is. When they're chasing, then they're just going to keep pushing them. And it's hard to keep track of them when you're you know and and stuff that you, is way taller than you so once i bombed down got over here they were nowhere to be found so that is it is what it is you know uh the good thing is that they're chasing so the rut's definitely picking up uh i actually glassed the first doe the one that he was chasing uh probably 15 minutes before he came out i saw her and i was like man I saw her, I saw another one, I was like, dude, she keeps on looking back, but I wasn't really thinking anything was going to come out, and then I was hoping something would come out closer to me, because I just glassed up those two does around like 400 yards, and they, they dropped down into the timber, so I was just hoping something would be chasing them, but nope, so kept on looking over here, and eventually that buck came out, because she kept on looking back, and I kept on seeing more and more deer and then finally the buck showed up so dropped down made it over here and just made it over, over here to find nothing but it's okay I still have tomorrow and I still have <coughs> Thanksgiving but we're supposed to have a windstorm tomorrow from I think it's supposed to at home it says it's gonna start around 4 but <coughs> I was looking at the weather app here I think the wind's supposed to pick up around 8 in the morning till about noon, so who knows, but I'm probably going to drive up to where I have service and probably camp there since I'm by myself, but one of my back tire has <coughs> is low on air tire, so it's as low on air, so. I, don't know, I couldn't hear anything leaking, but my uh, the little warning thing in your uh, <coughs> gauge cluster showed up. So I went out with a <coughs> tire pressure gauge to uh, see which one it was, and it's the back passenger side. So I don't know. I'm a little worried. I don't know if this dang truck has a jack in it, but I do know that if I camp up where I have service. And if I don't have a jack, I could always call my brother and they could always bring me a jack, which is a far drive, but yeah, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, we'll see what the weather is like tomorrow and uh, we'll just go from there. So pretty good day so far, I would say. We had a buck spotted, which is a good thing. So we'll see how it goes in the morning. So yeah, we will see you guys bright and early.
morning guys today is the last day of Idaho Terra and, and uh, I actually only have the morning to hunt and uh, as you just saw I just filled my tag with a pretty big doe kind of funny we were my brothers were joking like man if they don't shoot anything, we're gonna shoot the most expensive doe ever, and I just did that. <laughs> there was uh, there was five of them. I was hoping there was a buck with them, but I mean now it's kind of post rut, so wasn't really expecting to see any bucks following anymore. I mean, last week they were chasing, but and it's December first, so it's pretty late. And, uh, yeah, I got here about, uh, right before 7 o'clock, and I just worked my way over to this clear cut, and I noticed them right above me, and I noticed they were walking over, so, based on the road, I just walked over here and, uh, set up, and eventually they popped out, and I just kind of picked the bigger one to shoot, so... Filled my tag. I think she rolled up there. <laughs> the shot was 268-ish yards. She went like a 13 degree incline and uh, <sighs> did it again with the Model 7. You know, on short like hunts like this or anywhere close, I just like to bring the Model 7 now because it's just light and it's easier to shoot, especially in situations like this where I can't get into prone and I could just, I basically just rested on my backpack and shot, so. Yeah, what a season it's been in Idaho. I've seen more bucks in Idaho in one week of hunting than I have seen in three years of hunting in Washington State, so. It wasn't that wall hanger we were after, but I just wanted to fill my tag you know, fill the freezer back up. I mean, it was just nice knowing that over here you could shoot uh, either sex. And uh, last day, last few hours, gotta make it happen, and I did. So let's pack up and uh, let's go take a look. There we have it. Pretty big doe. Very healthy. Look at it. Big old doe. <sighs> yep. So I'm just gonna roll it back down to the road and. Uh, I'll take care of it down there. Thought about dragging it out since I am not far from the truck at all. But I didn't I didn't want all the unnecessary garbage out home and uh that's that time it's roughly almost eight o'clock. I have to leave here by ten o'clock the latest to make it in time at work to work at one o'clock. So if I hurry up I should be able to get her quartered out and uh pack her back to the truck so yeah very very good shot I mean I think I made a pretty good shot placement right behind the shoulders pass through and uh <coughs> whatnot so what an experience in Idaho man we pay for these expensive tags and uh you know nothing's a guarantee I mean for us hunting Washington State we never get to hunt the ruts or anything so coming into a state where it allows that it's just a big huge bonus and it's just that that new experience that we're like excited for too you know just be able to hunt with rifle for white tail for big mature white tails and I've just seen in the video we've seen big bucks you know and just aren't able to capitalize and uh, this actually this face side was the same face side that 
I saw that bug chasing that group of does last week, so I'm pretty sure it's the same group of does. They've been crossing in and out of here ever since me and my brother found this spot. We've seen them almost every day, and uh, you know, I'm just very thankful. Thank the good Lord, you know, uh, <clears throat> that we were able to fill our tank. You know, it's not always about the you know killing the biggest buck. It's about the experience, the journey, you know, and uh, this is one hell of a experience and journey for us and uh yeah let's get her down there and uh get her taken care of and uh, we're just gonna end the video here so uh yeah thank you guys for following along if you haven't help the channel by subscribing give it a thumbs up if you enjoy what you see and uh this includes our big game hunting for 2019 so what next i don't know maybe go back and redeem myself on some coyotes so we will see and uh uh, as always, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we will see you in the next video.